Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome and the Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, help me to like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. I still do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hear this message very well. I mean, the Lord bless you as you're listening. I hear the Lord said to me, everything is not a test. Your enemy are trying to make you feel as if it is God that is testing you. This message is coming to you specifically. The fact that God can test you to a level where you lose your salvation. <laughs> God is not a man. That situation that you see, that is making you to lose your faith. Hear me very well. God will not test anyone to a level where they will forget to pray. God will not test anyone to a level where they will throw away their salvation. God will not test anyone to a level where somebody else or the, any other power will start taking his glory in your life. Hear what the Bible says. The Bible says, God is a jealous God. His glory is shared with no man. Don't let them deceive you. Now I hear this word so deeply in my spirit that they are trying to convince you that, okay, it is God that is testing you. It is God that is testing you. It is not a situation that is a test from the Lord. Some are just from the devil to destroy you, to stop you. Child of God, hear me very well. When you find yourself in that situation where you are not losing faith, where you are not even ready to throw away your salvation, where you are not blaming God and saying, Ah, I don't know. I'm not sure God exists anymore. I've heard a lot of prophecy. I have a lot of prayers. And they said this test, this, I cannot do it anymore. I'm not sure. You have to know that it is no, it's not God that is testing you with all those situations. And the enemy will want you to, ah, God, I've tested you. You cannot overcome. The Bible says God is faithful. The book of Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. The Bible says God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted above your ability. When you see that you are being tempted above what you can handle, you have to know that this is no longer God that is testing you. This is the power, this is a situation from somewhere that is trying to make sure that you stop serving God, that is trying to make sure you stop believing, that is trying to make you stop your movement. You have to stop them before they stop you. That is when you know that it is time for you to take your stand. The Bible said, decree a thing on earth and it will be established. He said, whatsoever you bound, that is time, it is time for you to start binding those temp temptations that you see as if it is not beyond your ability. It is not beyond something that you can carry. Because the Bible states so clearly in that book of Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. It said, God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. Don't let them deceive you. Everything is not a test. They are liars. Everything is not a test. God will not test you to a level where you will not go to hell. Because when you are tested above what you can carry, you give up on your salvation. You give up on your prayer life. You give up on your faith. Then how can you make heaven? To whose glory with, the, with your journey in life now be? There are some situations you have to know. Say, no, this is not from God. This is no longer a test, a test anymore. I have to start rejecting it. Don't let them convince you that everything is a test. Even you losing your faith, throwing away your salvation because of the situation that you are facing life. It is a test. God does not test any man to that level. Hallelujah. He said, but with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape that you might be able to endure it. What is the situation? If there is no way of escape, it means that that is no longer a test. 
you have to start praying and start creating the will of escape. Start destroying the things that want to make you to remain in that place. I want to pray for you, child of God. This is a warfare message for somebody. I said you will not be tested above what you can carry. Whatever situation in your life, that is not a test from the Lord. I have refused to go. That situation must hear the word of the Lord. By the power in the name of Jesus, we command that situation to give way. You escape in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sira. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.